Today, we're going to be doing a story time. Yay. Yay, that's great. What's the story time about? I'll give you a hint. Squawk. It has two wings, a beak, and feathers. Hmm. We give up, Mr. Parrot. Who is it? Birds. Yay. Yay. Good. All right, Mr. Parrot. Would you like to start us with us off with a song? Squawk, I would love to. What's your favorite song, Mr. Parrot? Hi, hello, and how are you? Ooh, I think we know that song. I know it. Mm-hmm. So get your wings ready. Let's start sing. A one, a two, a three. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Yay! Great job, friends. Now, we know that parrots live in the jungle, and this summer we're having lots of books about the jungle. But there's lots of parrots in New Jersey, or lots of birds in New Jersey, too, that aren't parrots. And how do all birds start? Well, birds start in eggs, <gasps> right? Just little mm -hmm. eggs. And the baby chick will grow and grow inside the egg, and then it starts to peck its way out. Hello, world! <gasps> and out it comes. And you may notice as you walk around your neighborhood that there's lots of birds in the trees and you have to look very carefully to find them. You can hear them but it's hard to see them and sometimes hidden in the trees we have nests with the baby birds that have come out of their eggs and they sit in the nests and they cry for food. Squeak, 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 squeak. And here comes the mommy bird to give the birds their food. And does anyone know what the birds eat? Hmm. Big, <gasps> juicy worms. Mm. Anyone out there have worms for breakfast? <sighs> I did. But birds love them. So, even though we're talking about the jungle all summer and our friends the parrots live in the jungle, we're going to have just stories about all kinds of birds today. And does anybody know what kind of bird you see in New York City? Hmm. Definitely not parrots. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. How mm. about pigeons? <gasps> oh, Pigeons. Yes. And Miss Sarah is going mm -hmm. to share a story with us all about our friend the pigeon. Uh -huh. So, two of the pigeon's favorite things to do. One hunt for french fries, mm -hmm. and two, drive buses. Yay! Mm -hmm. But we shouldn't let the pigeon drive the bus, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. <gasps> oh, look at the pigeon dreaming about buses. Oh. Hi, I'm the bus driver, right over there. I've got to leave for a little while. So can you watch things for me until I get back? Can we watch things for him? Sure. Yeah, yeah, I think that'd be fine. Oh, and remember. All right, everyone, let's repeat this together. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. So we're not going to let the pigeon drive the bus, no matter what. Right, friends? Right. All right. So, let's watch. Oh, okay. yep, yep, yep. So he's going. Okay, everybody, watch the bus. We're watching. We're watching. Looks good. No pigeons. We're watching. And oh, who's there? I thought he'd never leave. Okay. Hey. Pigeon looks pretty. Oh, look at him. He looks so cute. So innocent. Hey, can I drive the bus? What do you think, friends? Should we let the pigeon drive the bus? No. Let's hear one bit, one, I'm kind of three. One, two, three. No. no. Very good. Please? I'll be careful. Well, pigeon did ask very nicely, but 
The driver said, let's say it all together. One, two, three. No. No. I'll tell you what. I'll just steer. Hmm. My cousin Herb drives a bus almost every day. Hmm. Do you think we should let the pigeon drive the bus? He'll just steer. Mm, what, let's say on the count of three. One, two, three. No. no. True story. Mm, do you think that's a true story, friends? No, I don't think so. Uh-oh. Pigeon looks a little more annoyed. Vroom, 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 vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. Well, if he's definitely going to go that fast, we will definitely say no. No. That's right, Pigeon. No. I never get to do anything. Mm, what do we say when Pigeon throws a tantrum? We say no. no. Even then. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. Mm, I don't know where this is going, friends. If this is imaginary, maybe. I'll go first. <gasps> Wait a minute, everyone. Let's pull back Pigeon. Boop. And what do we say to Pigeon? No. <gasps> oh, we stopped him. Good job. Come on, just once, just around the block. Do we let pigeons drive the bus just around the block? No, no. we don't. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? No fair. I bet your mom would let me. What's the big deal? It's just a bus. I have dreams, you know. What do you think of, what do you say to all of these excuses, my friends? One big no. no. <laughs> Fine. Ooh, looks like Pigeon is, <gasps> whoa! Let me drive the bus. What do we say? We say, no, no. Pigeon, we will, you cannot drive the bus. <sighs> oh, he still looks a little angry. He's calmed down a little bit. <sighs> hmm. I'm back. Did you let the drive, did you, you didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? What do we tell, what can we tell the bus driver? No, no. we didn't. Uh-oh, uh-oh, pigeon scurrying off. Great, thanks a lot. Bye, everyone wave to the bus driver. Oh, pigeon does look very disappointed, oh. I feel a little bad. Hey, whoa! Can you guys make, what is this? I think this is an enormous truck. Can you guys make a truck sound? Honk, beep, beep, beep. Oh no. What do you think, Pigeon? Oh, <gasps> looks like Pigeon has a new dream to drive a truck. Friends, do we let pigeons drive trucks? No, no, we don't. The end. Great job, guys. We're sticking with saying no. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and now let's do a little rhyme about a little bird. And I'm going to ask everybody to stand up to stretch. Oops, sorry. Oops, we're good. That's okay. <laughs> and we're going to start with doing some hopping. You ready? I saw a little bird go hop, hop, hop. So I said to the bird, won't you stop, stop, stop. I went to the window to say, how do you do? But he shook his little tail and away he flew. Okay, one more time, you ready? Here we go. I saw a little bird go hop, hop, hop. 
So I cried to the bird, won't you stop, stop, stop. I went to the window to say, how do you do? But he shook his little tail and away he flew. The end. Ooh, let's count how many birds we have. We have one, two, three, four, five little birds at our window. Okay, guys, you ready? Here we go. Let's see your five birds. Make five birds. Five little birds peeping at the door. One flew away and that left. Three, two, three, four. And four little birds sitting in a tree. One flew away and that left. Three. Three little birds looking at you. One flew away. Woo! And that left how many? Two. Very good. Two little birds sitting in the sun. One flew away. And that left one. One little bird left all alone. It flew away, woo, mm. and that left none. none. The end. Who knows who this is? Hmm. Who, who, who? Yeah, it's an owl. And owls are very special birds because they are nocturnal. And that means they do their living at the night and they <laughs> sleep during the day. And now we're going to read a story about an owl, actually about a family of owls, and it's called Owl Babies. Once there were three baby owls, Sarah and Percy and Bill. They lived in a hole in the trunk of the tree with their owl mother. The hole had twigs and leaves and owl feathers in it. It was their house. One night they woke up and their owl mother was gone. Where's mommy? asked Sarah. Oh my goodness, said Percy. I want my mommy, Where? said Bill. The baby owls thought. Owl owls think a lot. I think she's gone hunting, said Sarah, to get us our food, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. Wah! But their owl mother didn't come home. The baby owls came out of their house and they sat on the tree and they waited. A big branch for Sarah, a small branch for Percy, and an old piece of ivy for Bill. She'll be right back, said Sarah. Back soon, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. Wah! It was dark in the woods and they had to be brave for things moved all around them. She'll bring us mice and things that are nice, said Sarah. I suppose so, said Percy. What do you think Bill said? I want my mommy. Wah! They sat and they thought, all owls think a lot. I think we should all sit on my branch, said Sarah. So they did, all three together. Suppose she got lost, said Sarah, or a fox got her, said Percy. And Bill said, I want my mommy. And the baby owls closed their eyes and they wished that their owl mother would come. Can you close your eyes and wish, wish, wish? Let's see what happens. <gasps> and she came! Yay! Soft and silent, she swooped through the trees to Sarah and Percy and Bill. Mommy! They cried and they flapped and they danced and they bounced up and down on their branch. What's all this fuss? Their mother owl asked. You knew I'd come back. The baby owls thought, all owls think a lot. 
I knew it, said Sarah. And I knew it, said Percy. I love my mommy, said Belle. The and yay. And now we're going to transfer from owls to mm -hmm. blackbirds. Ooh. We have two of our blackboard, blackbird friends have joined us. One is named Jack and one is named Jill. If you know the song, sing along goes just like this. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. And come back, Jill. Great job, you guys. But you know what, Miss Kate? What's that? I think we can go faster. Faster? And slower. And slower. And slower. So let's try it. We're going to try this again, doing one really fast and then one really slow. Let's try it. Two little blackbirds singing on a hill. One name fast and one name slow. Fly away fast and fly away slow. Now come back fast. Good job, friends. Now come back slow. Very good. Oh, you know what? There's another set what? of blackbirds that come and visit us. One, one name is very soft. And then one is very loud. Let's try it. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One name soft and one name loud. Good. Fly away soft. Fly away loud. Come back soft and come back loud. Yay. Friends. Okay, and now it's time for a rhyme about a nest. And this is how this goes. Make a little nest with your hands. Here's a nest for a robin. Here's a hive for a bee. Here's a hole for a bunny. And here's a house for me. All right, one more time. You ready? So start with the nest. Here's a nest for a robin. Here's a hive for a bee. Here's a hole for a bunny, and here's a house for me. The end. Mm -hmm. And now Miss Sarah's going to lead us in a little song about some ducks. <laughs> so now we're going to talk about one of our favorite duck families. It's Six Little Ducks. Are you ready? So we're going to sing. Six little ducks that I once knew. Fat ones, skinny ones, sh short ones too. But the one little duck with the feather on his back, he led the others with a quack, 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 quack. He led the others with a quack, 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 down by the river that they would go. Wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble to and fro. But the one little duck with the feather on his back, he led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. He led the elders with the quack, quack, quack. Yay. Great job, everyone. Yay. And now, would you like to see the animals that live in the meadow? I think there are birds, but I think there's other things as well. So let's see what we can find in the meadow. And here we have a bird right mm -hmm. here with all these little guys. So let's see. And we're gonna start with, what kind of animal is this? Yeah, it's a turtle. Oh, turtles are really cool, aren't they? Here we go. Over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun, lived an old lit mother turtle and her little turtle one. Dig, said the mother, we dig, said the one. So they dug all day in the sand, in the sun. Over in the meadow where the stream runs blue lived an old mother fish and her little fish she's two. Swim, said the mother. We swim, said the two. So they swam all day where the stream runs blue. Over in the meadow in a wide oak tree lived an old mother owl and her little owls three. 
Who said the mother? We who said the three? So they hooed all day in the wide oak tree. Over in the meadow by the old barn door lived an old mother rat and her little ratties four. Gnaw, said the mother. We gnaw, said the four. So they gnawed all day by the old barn door. Over in the meadow in a snug beehive lived an old mother bee and her little bees five. Buzz, said the mother. We buzz, said the five. So they buzzed all day round the snug beehive. Over in the meadow in a nest made of sticks lived an old mother crow and her little crow six. Caw, said the mother. We caw, said the six. So they cawed all day in a nest made of sticks. Over in the meadow where the grass grows even lived an old mother frog and her little froggy seven. Jump, said the mother. We jump, said the seven. So they jumped all day where the grass grows even. Oh my goodness. Over in the meadow by the old gaunt mossy gate lived an old mother lizard and her little lizards eight. Bask, said the mother. We bask, said the eight. So they basked all day by the old mossy gate. Over in the meadow in the pond by the pine swam an old mother duck and her little ducklings nine. Quack, said the mother. We quack said the nine, so they quacked all day in the pond by the pine. Over in the meadow in a cozy wee den lived an old mother beaver and her little beaver's ten. Build, said the mother. We build, said the ten, so they built all day near the cozy wee den. Be and ta-da, it's the meadow, it's so beautiful. And now we're going to sing a little song about a little bird. Can you take your finger and make a little bird? Excellent, okay, you ready? Here, this is how this little song goes. Little bird, little bird, through my window. Little bird, little bird, through my window. Little bird, little bird, through my window. Hey, diddle dum a day. Oh, now once you take your bird and try to find someone near you, you're gonna tap them on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Gently. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Find a little friend and tap him on the shoulder. Find a little friend and tap him on the shoulder. Find a little friend and tap him on the shoulder. Hey, diddle dum a day. Okay, little bird, one more time. Have him fly. Little bird, little bird, through my window. Little bird, little bird, through my window. Little bird, little bird, through my window. Hey, diddle dum a day. Oh, excellent. Good job. Now we are going to read another book called I Spy in the Sky. We're going to identify different type of birds. Oh, do you guys know what type of bird this is? You're very right. It's a parrot. So we got I spy. I spy with my little eye something with purple feathers, and small wings. I like to drink nectar from flowers. Hmm, who do you think we see? It is, I'm a hummingbird. Oh, look how beautiful. I bet you guessed that, right friends? Okay, let's try the next one, you ready? I spy with my little eye something with black feathers and big wings. My head can change color. Hmm, what does that bird look like? Hmm, let's see. I'm a condor. Wow, look how big his wings are. Let's try the next one. 
I spy with my little eye something with blue feathers, a short bill. Polly wants a cracker. Hmm. I think I know who this is. It's a parrot. I'm a parrot. <laughs> Great guessing, friends. Let's keep going. I spy with my little eye something with, what color feathers are those? Very good, white feathers and a long bill. I like to fish for my food. Hmm, who likes to go fishing? It is a, I'm a pelican. Look at that long bill, oh my gosh. Let's try the next one. I spy with my little eye. Oh, this looks really familiar. What do you think, friends? It's something with brown feathers and that flies very high. I have sharp talons. Do you friends have sharp talons? Who could this be? I am a... A bald eagle, wow, so majestic, right? You friends are very good at this game. Let's try another one. I spy with my little eye something with multicolored multi feathers. Oh, look how beautiful the, beautiful the feathers are, my friends. That flies low to the ground. My tail is called a train. Who could this be? I am a peacock. Did anyone grab, get that? You friends are so smart. Oh wow, look at those feathers. I spy with my little eye. Hmm. Something with gray feathers that sleep when it's light and flies when it's dark. Who, who could it be? You guessed it, it's an owl. I'm an owl and I spy. <gasps> who does the owl spy? You, you, me, us. <gasps> the owl spies us. What can you spy with your little eye? What do you think, friends? What can you see? Oh, I see you too. The end. Great job guessing, my friends. Yay. And now for our grand finale. You can just hold them up. Yep. We're going to do a little puppet show about a bird that lives on the farm. What bird lives on the farm? Does anybody hmm. know? Bop, 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 bop. Yep, it's a chicken. And does anyone know what a female chicken, a lady chicken, is called? It's called a hen. And a boy chicken is called a rooster. And the rooster says, cock a doo But this is about a hen. And the story is called The Little Red Hen. You ready? Once upon a time, there was a little red hen. And the little red hen decided that she was very hungry and she would like some bread. But she didn't have anything to make the bread out of. And so she realized she was going to have to plant a seed. And the little red hen went out to her barnyard friends and said, Who will help me plant this seed? The dog said, not I. The cat said, not I. The mouse said, not I. So the little red hen said, then I'll plant it myself. And she did. She dug a little hole in the ground, put the seed inside, covered it, and the rain fell and the sun shone and out of the ground came tall stalks of wheat. And it was time to cut that wheat. And the little red hen said, who will help me cut this wheat? The dog said, not I. The cat said, not I. And the mouse said, not I. So the little red hen said, I'll do it myself. 
and she did. She cut that wheat, but then she had to get it ground into flour. So she said, who will help me grind this wheat into flour? The dog said, not I. The cat said, not I. The mouse said, not I. So the little red hen said, I'll do it myself. And she did. She had that wheat ground into flour and brought it home and went into her kitchen with it. It was time to bake. So she went outside to her barnyard friends and said, who will help me bake this bread? The dog said, not I. The cat said, not I. The mouse said, not I. So the little red hen said, I'll do it myself. And she did. She baked that bread, she mixed it all up, and she popped it in the oven. And before long, beautiful scents wafted from the Ooh. oven and out into the barnyard. And all the barnyard friends came to the door looking for a little slice. And the little red hen took it out of the oven and let it cool. And then she went outside to her friends and she said, who will help me eat this bread? And the dog said, I will. And the cat said, I will. And the mouse said, I will. And the little red hen said, no. When I needed help, none of you would help me. But then she looked over at her friends and they all looked so sad. So what should the little red hen do? Hmm. Well, she decided that even though they didn't help, she was going to share anyway. And that's just what she did. She invited her friends in and they had a big feast of all that bread. And then after that, whenever the little red hen needed any help, she had three very willing helpers. The end. Yay! <laughs> And now we're going to put the hen and the barnyard friends away and go back to our friend, Mr. Mm. Parrot, because it is time to sing the more mm. we get together. Wow. Okay. Is anyone, everybody ready to do some singing? All right, here we go. One, two, three. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! Great job, everyone! So glad that you joined us. If anyone's looking for the titles of the books that we read today, or any of the words to the songs or finger plays, Please go check the show notes on our website. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.